This video is a warning to all OTR CDL truck drivers. Why some small trucking companies will go out of business in 2023? Hey everyone, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here, welcome to the community. Please make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell. So next time when I post a new video, you can get notified. The market is getting hammered because of the Fed keep on raising interest rate to fight inflation. Cause uh, consumer goods are more expensive to be possessed meaning things become more expensive to buy. I'm talking about clothing, food, etc. This economy disaster is impacting the transportation business. It's impacting uh, the trucking industry, causing less jobs available in the market. Uh, as, you guys, as you guys know, uh, starting from last year or probably like a little bit earlier than that, things started to get, you know, uh, bad. Uh, right now, I'm not going to say we're in the worst part of of this economy cycle but things are really worse the way they were like you know two three months four months ago so we we, we dive and we keep on going down uh economically uh things really things doesn't really look good right now and we don't know when this will be you know uh done let's take a quick example let's actually we're gonna talk about some facts right we have a large amount of drivers available in the, on the market right and little supplies to move, causing a reduction on price offer, which makes sense, right? So even though there's a big dip on price offer, yet drivers are still fighting over those freights. And a simple cause of that is, is that most of those drivers don't really have a choice but to get those prices without negotiating because they have loans to pay, okay? And they got themselves into debt by making bad decision this year by buying trucks okay if you did buy truck this year or from last year you 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 probably struggling right now to pay it off so that's the that's the reason of that even though if they got one dollar fifty i'm talking about owner operator i'm talking about uh um, a lease to purchase operator uh, or lease lease operator those 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 type of drivers they they are the one who's suffering the most right now they don't really have they don't really have much of a choice but to 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 go with those prices that they get they get offered uh let's say for example you get offered like one dollar fifty per mile as a owner operator to move a certain type of freight the chance are you you more likely to take it you're less likely to let it go because you know if you if you're trying to negotiate uh with the price offer some of the driver some of the drivers will be willing to take it because everybody got debt everybody got bills to pay uh equipments and stuff like that you know so they got themselves into some bad decision this year and they buy trucks now they're struggling to pay it off that's the situation of that and this is where things get really messy uh <laughs> the funny thing is dispatchers are fighting over these these honorable brokers right now these honorable brokers or are those brokers who want you to work or get the job done and then after you're done they don't want to pay up okay because of the economy downturn we're in right now some brokers don't want to pay up they don't want to honor they part of the deal and because of that reason actually our dispatchers are marking and filtering the way they used to use uh they load boards and keep all these uh, scammer brokers out of the search bar. And if you didn't know, lots of these small companies uh, don't really have good reputation. Not all of them, but some of them don't have good reputation. So for that reason, they can only rely on using load boards like the 80, okay, in order to get free for their drivers. Meaning, uh, some of these small companies do not have direct contact with shippers, okay. So they have to use those load boards uh, to get to get freight moving, and the f the fact that their dependency relies on load boards, making them vulnerable on brokers' eye. Okay, now understand this: some of these small companies have good reputations as well. Therefore, they have contract directly with shippers. Have you, like I've seen like those companies that like, even though they're not major companies, but they still have you know contract with uh ups fedex uh, uh amazon all of those stuff even though they're not like one of the major company 
but they still manage a way uh, to get those contracts with with this with these uh, shippers. It's because they have good reputation. They know where to go, what to do. They know how the industry works, right? So for that reason, they have those contracts uh, directly with shippers, so they don't really have to go to a middleman, which is the uh, which is the broker, okay, the freight broker. They have to go now. They don't have to go to the freight broker. For freight broker, they can go directly to the shipper and get those those freight uh, at a better price and move them. You know, even though <laughs> even though most of the time, uh, the company drivers are the one who get those freight instead of giving it to the owner operator or lease operator, and and some of those companies, okay, have a higher chance. I'm talking about this company. Some of these small companies have a high chance of surviving this economy cycle because of the relationship and trust they have built between you know them and those shippers slash brokers. Even though 98% of, the, of those freight goes straight directly to their company drivers, okay, making them more profitable and put them in a position where, you know, it put them in a position with a lot of, a lot of uh, inflows so they don't go out, out of business uh, anytime soon. Because of this economy cycle right now, if you have a lot of inflows, the chances are likely you probably will survive this 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 inflation. Or if there's a recession, the chances are you you probably like survive it. Okay. So on the other hand, the rest of the majority of the small companies are struggling to keep up with price and demand, and all of this juggling in the economy. So. They don't really have great base of uh, foundation, meaning they could go out of business uh, anytime soon, right? Uh, as a matter of fact, I know like two two small companies. Some of my friends used to work with uh, in the past. They already went out of business. The reason why uh, some some most of the small companies uh, most likely to be affected in the situation we're in right now is because it's because of lack of, of professionalism. Uh, networking, uh, meaning building relationship, get contract, and all of this good stuff, which is a major, which is why major companies, okay, it, it's a it's a big issue from those uh, from those small companies, which is why some of the major companies understand that aspect uh, better than these micro businesses. They they get you know they t they take advantage of those of those type of aspect. To position positioning themselves you know in a better way that's why they be having all these big contracts with uh, the shippers okay they understand that better than, than the small businesses so with that being said if you if you if you're a driver okay if you're driving or been working for a small trucking company just make sure that they're not going out of business anytime soon so you could ensure your, your position as a driver and keep that income ongoing Okay. Last thing you know, you don't want like you know not fully aware of the situation that you're in, and the next thing you you know is just that you get laid off because the company you you you're driving for cannot keep up with you know paying paying these their equipment. So their dependency, if their dependency relies on load boards only, since a lot of brokers are are, are skimming dry, are skimming dispatches right now, it will be all nearly impossible for them to get to book. To book loads uh, from those load boards uh now they will go out of business faster if they're relying on load boards only so this is a this is a really bad situation you don't want to put yourself in you know this is no, not you but this is a bad you know this is a scandal you could uh, you should avoid <laughs> so you don't want to get yourself situated uh in that type of uh, scandals so uh, make sure to subscribe okay that's it for today's video if this is your first time you make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell uh, we're here to share ideas okay uh, we're here to networking make friends uh, since we're in the trucking industry right now we're in the trucking business we, we're sharing ideas about what's going on in the economy in general how the economy uh, re recession that's coming up or how inflation is impacting on uh, the whole or economy in general especially the trucking industry so uh leave me a comment let me know what you think and yeah i will see you on the next one peace